If you guys have ever had your ABS light pop up, which is located in the lower left of your dash, I'm gonna show you guys a quick and easy way to check those codes, interpret those codes, and how to erase those codes without using an expensive factory scan tool. This is my little Subaru only shop. It's a DIY Subaru channel. It's a channel where all I do is Subaru builds and race Subaru vehicles and motorsport events. It's a DIY themed channel where I walk you guys through the steps to get your Subarus back on the road and hopefully do a little racing of your own. So thanks for checking out the video guys. I really appreciate it. Now I'm gonna show you this diagnosis on my 1998 RS Coupe, but this actually applies to all 1993 through 2001 Subaru Imprezas. And the first step will be to locate the diagnostic connector and the diagnostic pins that Subaru included from the factory. And those are located right underneath your steering wheel. And as you guys can see, I've actually removed the lower dash to make it easier for me to film and to make it easier for me to show you where these connectors are. But on your vehicles, you guys probably don't need to remove the lower dash. The diagnostic connector and the diagnostic pins are actually located right underneath here to the right of your fuse panel. It's located right near those green ECU diagnostic connectors, but we're not gonna use those, so put those aside. We actually only need to use this black diagnostic connector and these two pins. And this little diagnostic connector is what we're gonna use to read the ABS codes, and incidentally, it's also used to read your airbag codes. So this is a really important connector to familiarize yourself with. And to pull the ABS codes, we're gonna focus on location number six. I'll throw up a little diagram on the video so you guys can see exactly where all the pin locations are. But basically, as you move from the top left here down to the bottom right, it goes pin location number one, number two, and then three, four, five, and six. So we're gonna insert one of these diagnostic pins into location number six right here. And you do that with ignition off. So make sure your key's in the off position and then install one of those diagnostic pins into this location, pin location six. Just like that. After you have that pin inserted in location six, then you wanna go ahead and turn your key to ignition on position. Now, as soon as you turn to the on position, you're gonna see your ABS light starts flashing. And the way the system works is it's gonna flash a two digit number. The first digit is a long flash and the second digit is a short flash. And when you enter the diagnostic mode, it always starts and ends with flashing an 11. So when I first flip the key, we're gonna see a short little flash and then it should flash an 11 and then it'll flash any fault codes during the system. And then at the end, it'll flash an 11 to close it out. So I'll turn the key on and I'll count with you guys so you can see what 11 is and then what the other fault codes that I have in my system are, which is a 27 and a 51. And then at the end, it'll close it out with an 11. Key on, one flash, one long one, one short one. That's 11, one, two long ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven short ones, 27. One, two long ones, three, four, five, one short one, that's 51. One short one, that's 11. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was 27. One, two, three, four, five, one, 51. One short one, 11. So you guys catch that? One long pulse for the first digit and a short pulse for the second digit. And I actually have two codes in my ABS ECU, a 27 and a 51. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how you can erase these codes without using that factory scan tool. To clear the ABS codes, you're actually gonna head back down to that diagnostic connector. You're gonna leave your key in the on position. Then we're actually gonna remove this little pin from the number six position three times within 12 seconds. And each time we install it, we're gonna hold it in there for at least 0.2 of a second. I'll demonstrate for you guys right now, and then we'll verify that I've cleared all the codes. And install it once and hold it for a second. Install it again and hold it for a fraction of a second. Install it again and then remove it for the third time. Install it again and hold it. That procedure should have cleared all the fault codes in the ABS ECU. And to verify, you can cycle the ignition and read the fault codes that pop up. Now that you've cleared all the fault codes, the only thing that should pop up is an 11. And as long as an 11 pops up, but no other fault codes, that basically means that there's no fault codes in the ECU. All right, turn it off and back on. And let's see what happens. ABS, one long one and a short one. One long one and a short one. One long one and a short one. Pretty clear, all we're getting is code 11. No more code 27, no more code 51. 
So I've cleared all the ABS codes in the system and this sucker should be ready to go. So the last thing you'll do is you actually turn your key back to the off position, go back down to your diagnostic connector, and then go ahead and remove that pin. You don't wanna leave that pin in after you've cleared these codes and then bundle these connectors back up in a safe location and your ECU should be good to go and you should have no more codes in your ABS system. If you guys are looking up these ABS codes on your Subaru, there's actually a great resource I want you to check out on my SubaruOnly.com webpage. I've actually totally revamped this webpage. And I've got a lot of information on this webpage now. I've actually got part numbers for our first gen Imprezas. I've got a bunch of different factory service manual links for all makes and models of Subaru. And I've got a factory service guide section. For example, for this ABS video, I have an ABS diagnostic PDF that's a factory service guide. And you guys can actually click on this PDF and get access to this PDF. And a lot of the information that I've provided in this video is actually provided in this PDF. For example, here in section seven, you'll see they have a section on reading diagnostic trouble codes without that Subaru Select monitor. And these are a bunch of the procedures that I walked you guys through earlier in this video. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see there's another section here, section nine, that talks about clearing those ABS memory codes. And again, a lot of the information I've talked about earlier in this video is all presented here with a little bit more detail in this factory service guide. And then as you scroll down, there's actually a big table or a list of all diagnostic trouble codes. And this is a really valuable table for you guys if you pull any codes, because this has all the codes that you can actually pull from your ABS module. As you guys saw earlier in the video, I actually had code 27, and right here I'm highlighting what the details are associated with that code. And they also had code 51. So we can look up code 51 and get a little bit of information about what that code means and where in this guide to go to for more information to diagnose it and try to fix it. There's a little bit more information here I could show you guys. I actually have a new tutorial section. This links to a bunch of my YouTube content, but it actually categorizes it so you can actually click to the section that you need for your service procedure. And they also have an Amazon shop page. Check this page out, guys. I have a bunch of different categories based on Subaru and Preza generation or Forester generation. And for example, right here, the first gen Subaru Impreza, which is 1993 through 2001, I've got a bunch of different parts selected that are available on Amazon. And as you guys can see, there's a really wide range of parts here from suspension parts and brake parts to performance parts and maintenance parts. And it's a really, really impressive selection. So that's my Subaru only webpage, guys. It's the world's best resource for Subaru enthusiasts. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I really appreciate it. My name's Luke, and you guys are watching the Super Only channel. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. As you guys know, I'm a diehard Subaru enthusiast, and I've also had the opportunity to be involved in motorsports for over two decades now. But I'm also a professional hydrogeologist, and I've actually spent years in laboratories performing experiments where I studied the flow of fluids using the properties of physics and fluid mechanics. In these YouTube videos, I'm actually able to combine my experience from the laboratories and all the research I've done with my experience from all the motorsport series I've been involved in and my passion for Subarus. If you have any professional inquiries about Subaru-related R&D or digital marketing and media, you can contact me at subaruonlyshop.com at gmail.com. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope to hear from you soon.